Hi everyone, this is Nicolette behind the Nicolette Coley Designs. Uh, I have a few videos on, already on my YouTube channel, but this is the first time when you can hear my voice in English. I'm so sorry, English is not my first language, so please forgive my mistakes and accent, um, but I hope you can understand me. Today I'm trying to explain a few crochet stitches, what I like to use in my patterns. These are really uh, simple stitches, but sometimes it's hard to explain how to crochet, or you cannot imagine uh, when you read the written section um, how to really do it. So I created a chart already and I have a list with the stitches and an explanation uh, for everything. <clears throat> I already done the first uh, few rows so I have the chain of the foundation chain I have the two uh, double crochet rows as you see here so we are now on the third row we're gonna start this thing here you can go down to see what it is this is a chain three let's do a chain three one two Three. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is a, a little leftover yarn from my stash, and I'm using a, a tulip crochet hook. This is my favorite crochet hook. So, I have this chain three. The next two stitches are double crochet in the next two stitches where here one and two yarn over one two good next one is a chain when you have a chain, you have to skip the, ne the next stitch. If you're not gonna skip the stitch, you're gonna increase your row, increase your stitches. We don't wanna ex uh, increase the stitches, so we're gonna skip the next double crochet and we're gonna do a chain. Chain, skip this one and go to the next stitch. What's the next stitch here? That's the funny one. It looks like a double crochet, but it has a lot of uh, almost round edge. Let's see what it is. This is a front post double crochet. So how to do this double front post double crochet. It's similar to a simple double crochet, but you have to draw your hook around the stitch here back okay it says two so let's do another one You see, it's not into the stitch, it's around the stitch. Okay, let's from the last one and do it again. Yarn over from the front, come back, and just do like a double crochet. 
okay what's the next one the next one is a chain so we're gonna skip the next uh stitch here just do a simple chain oh something interesting is coming here now let's see what it is this is a front post three double crochet cluster stitch okay this one pull the yarn as high as the row the other stitches in the row one two three pull it through till here and then the last two switches okay the next stitch is another chain and skip one chain one and skip one and we're gonna do another uh, let's do it let me show you again slowly so here down and back Pull it up high one two three times you have one two three four five six and this is the seventh hook on the needle on a hook six and two okay the next one is a chain and skip one chain one skip one and the next what it is it's very similar to the other one but this is turning the other way which means is a back this was at the front and this one is the back so let's see back post double crochet here okay yarn over and we're going to the back here and back here one okay one more time back The next one chain one and skip one chain one skip one the next is two double crochet double crochet double crochet in the next two stitches this is helping you read one and one the next one what is the next one? Half double crochet. Yarn over. And pull through all. One more time. Yeah. The last two is to our single crochet. Okay. It's no yarn over needed. Just like this hmm? and we are finished the row uh, we'll add this chart and this document to my crochet group my uh, Facebook group so you can print it out and you can practice Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.